Good morning, everyone. I am Melanie Youngsma of the Lansing Journal, here with Josh Bootsma, our managing editor. Good morning. And we are entering into Thanksgiving week, so we wanted to do something special for this week's video. Yes, so today we have for you some uh, special video messages from our writers um, who are thankful for, for you and for the experiences they've had through the Lansing Journal. We have some different videos lined up for you now. Um, these are not all of our writers at the Lansing Journal, but it's a good representation of many of them, and um, all of them are certainly thankful. Yes. Um, so these videos, we hope you enjoy a message from our writers, and then we'll bring you back, and Melanie and I will share a little bit as well at the end of today's video. So thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Karen Abbott Trumio, and I am a freelance reporter for the Lansing Journal. Hello, Lansing residents and friends of the Lansing Journal. I'm Katie. I've been a reporter with the Lansing Journal for about four years now. Hi, my name is Quentin Arthur, a reporter with the Lansing Journal. Hi, this is Noah Johnson here with the Lansing Journal. Hi, this is Carrie Steinweg, one of the writers with the Lansing Journal newspaper. Hi, this is Leonard Ford. I'm a senior at Uni Christian Academy, and I'd like to say thank you for the Lansing Journal for allowing me to be their intern. My name is Jennifer Yost, and I am thankful for the opportunity as a volunteer reporter to support the Lansing Journal. I just wanted to take a moment during this Thanksgiving season to just share how grateful I am to be part, a part of such an amazing team and meeting some great people along the way as I was covering various stories. And this year I was able to take some time to reflect on Lansing and what it means to me. And I want to say that I'm truly thankful for community because without community, we wouldn't be able to write the stories that we do. As well for Josh and Melody for helping guiding me throughout these, these six weeks during my internship and to work with positive and hardworking people in the process, people like Melanie and Josh. I sincerely thank all of our advertisers, contributors, and subscribed readers. Though we may not know each other, we are working together uh, to make it possible for the Lansing Journal to continue providing balanced and useful news to our community. I'm making this to say thank you to everyone who's had a chance to not only read my work, but the work of our, my colleagues. And just wanted to say thank you to everyone who reads and supports the newspaper. I lived in Lansing for 28 years. I grew up in this town. So many happy memories, so many friends, so many amazing experiences have come from Lansing. And I am so grateful for all of that. I also want to thank all of the people who have met with me personally this year for interviews. The best part of being a reporter is meeting people who are noticeably making positive efforts in our community and are open and willing to share what they do. People like Karen Adams, uh, the co-chair at the Lansing Food Pantry, and all the wonderful volunteers there, and Debbie Albrecht, our now retired Lansing Public Library director. Uh, Deja and Christopher Kane from SNL Wine Bar, Braisha Blair from Never Surrender Studio, and I can't forget sitting down with Mr. Burt Worries, who was in the automotive industry for over 50 years. Whether it's about churches celebrating their 50th year anniversaries, whether it's about neighboring cities celebrating their first black female mayor, or whether it's about citizens who are stepping up and dedicating their lives to service, these are the stories that bring joy to my heart. A thank you to all of the people that I've worked with this year in writing articles, including the Lansing Veterans Memorial Ceremonial Honor Guard, and some of the people who work with Honor Flight and with the Mount Zion 24-Hour Food Pantry. I've enjoyed writing all those articles this year. Um, we truly couldn't do this work without you. And from my perspective, I truly thank everyone who has been a part of the articles that I've written, who've been willing participants of interviews and of interesting conversations. And those are the type of things that add great color to my life. I am also thankful to have covered this year's National Night Out at Fox Point, where Police Chief Al Phillips and his Lansing Police Department hosted a fun, family-oriented night out that is a favorite memory for me as a reporter this year. Our community 
have such amazing people. I'm enjoying seeing our growth, talking to people and meeting people. And I can't forget Josh Fuzma for introducing me to the Lansing Journal. Uh, the content, the reporters, everything that we have, we are all in, we're sincere, uh, and we're excited about our growth. I'm grateful to be able to tell a little bit of Lansing's story with every article that I write. And of course, I'm grateful to you for supporting the Lansing Journal and our mission. It's been a pleasure writing about you all, and I look forward to many more stories, many more articles. And your readership. So keep the stories coming. We appreciate all of you, and we look forward to many more, covering many more stories and, and just seeing where the Lansing community goes from here. I'm looking forward to continuing to tell Lansing's story. And I am thankful to report to you that there are many good, hardworking people that are wanting to make our community a better place. Have a happy Thanksgiving. And remember, every day is a day to be thankful. And I wish you all a safe and happy holiday season this year. Thank you. And I hope you all have a good holiday season. I I'm surely grateful for every single day. So again, thank you so much, and I'm hoping to hear from some of you soon. So thank you to all of you. I'm grateful for all of you, grateful for my family, and hope you all have a wonderful holiday and a good finish to the year 2021. And finally, I would also like to thank the UCA for allowing this opportunity to happen. Thank you. And so this Thanksgiving, uh, let us all join in giving thanks for what we have here in our community, including the Lansing Journal. And I wish you and your family all very safe and happy Thanksgiving. So we hope you enjoyed uh, those videos. Thank you to our, our writers for submitting those. Um, and I just want to share now, Melanie, at this, at this time, um, I started working for the Lansing Journal in August of 2020, and I was freelancing for you a few years before that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm thankful to you for bringing me on, um, for showing you the ropes of the Lansing Journal. It's been a true privilege uh, to have this be my full-time commitment for the last uh, year and some months. Just in general, all of you who, who have watched these videos, who've read our stories, who've commented on them, shared them with your friends, printed them out, put them up on your businesses, um, put them on your Facebook page, talked about them with your family, we thank you. Lansing is truly a community worth caring about, and that's why the Lansing Journal started. We consider ourselves blessed to, to have this important work, and we are grateful to the community that supports this work. Yeah. Um, I get to interact a lot with our, our donors, residents who read the newspaper and send in money so that we can keep it going and our advertisers, businesses who uh, seek out the Lansing Journal because they want to reach our audience and because they want to support a local newspaper. So I am grateful to all of the businesses who made that transition with us mm. from being in print to being mostly digital now. That was a difficult transition during uncertain times but many of you took the risk and I think you have found that it's paid off. So we are grateful that you were willing to, to journey with us. And we appreciate the finances that you send in, but also the notes and the emails yeah. and the Facebook messages. Uh, what other newspaper gets that kind of response from readers? Mm. It's just so heartwarming to know that you're out there, you're reading things, you're making decisions based on information that we provide and you're letting us know that it's important to you. And we are so grateful for that kind of communication. So this Thanksgiving, we are just feeling very thankful. And we wanted to take some time to, to express that this morning. Thank you. Thank you.